guys and welcome back to the channel and today is so exciting so a lot of you will know that popcorn has been off for about four months now um he's been a little bit poorly so he's just had some time off to chillax a bit and just have his ulcer medication yeah because he we we think he's had oh we think he had ulcers again so we've treated that he's back in work now and he's doing really really well we've done a little bit of jumping we've been doing really really tiny little jumps with him so far and they're literally just poles um like they're not even like full wings they're like just little poles on blocks basically um and we don't we just bring it nice and easy back in we don't want to make it stressful for him um and so far we've had no refusals which is just amazing because he started refusing about like everything he, he started refusing everything whether it was just like a little pole on the floor um or like an oxer so he would just refuse anything so we knew something was up so we took him off work completely and then he had his ulcer treatment i um, mean he's been on that for about four months now and we've brought Wait, i think it's been three months is it, is it been three months because he months, started yeah. he started all going down a bit downhill when christmas time yeah yeah so we so when he like we thought it was like as the jumps were getting bigger he got a bit scared but then we realized when the jumps were even small yeah. he was refusing them so he's had plenty of time off now and just he, to he's, have a reset a reset refresh the mind you know and we're just gonna yeah. keep everything positive and just be led by him aren't we but we'll we'll see how it goes but if he's just still not liking jumping um because if he's still not liking jumping, then he's just going to be a happy hacker. Because um, there's no point pushing it. Um, he's, he's an old boy now. So, yeah, all good. But today we're going to our first competition of the year with popcorn. And it is... Um, it's at a local show. And it's only tiny. Um, popcorn's doing the 30. And we've also got Rolo here as well and he's doing the 50 and the 60. So it's nice and small today. Um, just a fun little outing really. Um, but it's reader eventing and we've also brought Cloudy as a companion. So it's gonna be quite a carnage shade, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be super, super fun. We're gonna see how it goes today with all the ponies um, because I fell off Rolo um, three times in the warm up at our last show, uh, which has given me a bit of a confidence knock because I don't normally fall off Rolo. Um, touch wood, where's the wood? But I'm just so excited that Popcorn's back in action, he's back in work, and we- he's out and about, yeah. Yeah, and we put a little video up on our stories on our main Instagram of Popcorn jumping, and everyone's so excited to see him back in work. And he looks um, so happy. He looks so happy, and I think we will just stick to like smaller jumps this year, because um, there's no point going big. Um, I've got lots going on with um, Rolo, Panda and Rolo Panda, yeah. this year so there's no point really pushing Popcorn but yeah if Popcorn's really up for it and he wants to go jump in BS hoist then we'll go for it but it's all Popcorn's choice it's all Popcorn's choice so yeah we're about five minutes away guys so we'll see you when we get there so we have arrived oh you two are hanging it down He's probably going to be very excited today because he hasn't been like anywhere proper where there's other horses he don't know for a good while. So he's going to be quite excited. We just got to remember we're not jumping BS, we're jumping 30 centimetres. So not too crazy, darling, all right? Now I'm thinking of it, I probably should have put his Martin Gale on because <laughs> he's quite strong. We've got Rosie Posey in the back and we've got Cloudy Boy in the back. We've got the gang. I'm hoping it doesn't rain. His tail is a little bit dirty, but I did wash it and chalked it last night, so. It should be clean, but it's not. It's just so nice to be back out with him because he does love coming out, um, but we couldn't take him out anywhere whilst he was on his ulcer treatment because it would have made him stressed, which we don't want. So he'd, he's having, he'd, he was missing out on all the fun, which is not good because he loves coming out and he just loves his jumping. 
So it's a mixture of show jumps and like cross country jumps. But I looked at it and I think it's just mainly show jumps, which is perfect for popcorn because he gets a bit scared. So it won't be spooky. It won't be spooky, hopefully. But um, it's always good to have a nice, nice non spooky course. I'm just going to brush the poo off of his feet. I think it's going to work well actually that whenever we bring Popcorn or Rolo out, we bring Cloudy out too. Hello, darling. Yeah, there you go. Um, because all our ponies got a bit of separation anxiety. I uh, don't know where that's come from, but they've all got really attached to each other. And Rolo will be left on the horse box by himself if he's, if he's gone out by himself. But if you take two of them out with any of the others, and you take one away and one's on the on the box, oh my god, no, you cannot do that. That is, oh my god, someone's going to get hurt. So, yeah, that, we've always got to take out three. So we leave two on the box, and then one comes out. So, yeah. So if we go out, it's either got to be one or three? Yeah. Not two. Not two. Not two. <laughs> it's got to be either Panda that stays on the box. Panda's actually fine. Panda will go on his own. Panda's fine. Panda will go on his own wherever. Um, but it's just um, the other three. A bit crazy. And it also means that Cloudy hasn't got to be left at home by himself either, which is nice. And Cloudy's just having a little day out. Cloudy, a little bit of a scenic scenic countryside view, it wasn't even the countryside to be honest, but a little, little, little jolly up. Would you want to give me a leg up mum? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. control. Huh? A few Bronx. A few. He's just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's exciting. Excitement. Yeah. <laughs> He's never been so vocal. There's been quite a lot of bronking going on. We're definitely quite excited. Um, I miss. I miss the load of the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> Popcorn. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.
boys. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, that's so good. I'm really pleased with that. He's so good. He's a bit, a little bit out of fit, but I'm so pleased with that. It was quite a lot of jumps for him as well. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Good boy. There were no refusals. He didn't even think about anything. Like even that 16 at the end, it had a filler under it. <laughs> and like throughout all the rest of the course, there was no filler. So it must have been a shock, I guess, for him. But he went over it fine. Um, I'm really, really pleased with it. This is a massive improvement, guys, from refusing every single jump to going clear. And it may be like literally tiny um but the main thing is that he's gone in for a positive round he's it's been really positive he's gone clear and he had no run outs because that's just the thing with him like if he gets nervous he kind of forgets how to jump so this was really confidence building for both of us um and he felt so happy going around it i'm really pleased um i'm really really pleased with that oh i'm buzzing he looked like he was loving it he loved it what was this the 30 do you reckon we could do the 50? No. 40? No. Did you leave it on a good note? Leave it on a good note. Yeah. That's it for today. I'm good really boy! We just filled it up then. Do another, do some other small shows. Yeah. Just build it up for him. Yeah. It's all about just taking the time with him and just get him really confident. Yeah. I'm really, really pleased with that. Yay! Good boy! So what am I doing on Rolo? The 50 and a 60. Not the 70? No. Okay. Just keep it, keep it confident today for a bit. Yeah. We're just going to go and get Rolo ready now. Um, that's really good. I'm really pleased with that. But hopefully Rolo, hopefully Rolo is good too. <laughs> mind, mind your nose. Good boy. Is he just going to reverse up? Uh, we'll get Rolo out first. Okay, can you hold Pops? Yeah, right, hold on. I can't tell you how amazing that felt to have Popcorn back out, doing what he loves again. Happy chappy. That warm-up was a bit spicy. Oh, I know. I was like, you better not be doing this and the thing. When every, every time a horse went past. Every time a pony or a horse went past him, he just started bronking. It's all a bit much with popcorn. Yeah. All a bit too much chaos. Rolo, that's my phone. That's my phone. <laughs> He's eating your phone. He's actually going to pick it out of my pocket. I'm not even joking. <laughs> he got he polos in my there. Phone. Look, he's got it. He's got oh my, my God! Phone. <gasps> <laughs> he's going to chip it. Should we let him pick it up? Yeah. Hold on, come here. What well, if he drops it? Wait, hold on, look, he's gonna, he's gonna get it now, look. Wait, hold on, look, he's gonna get it now. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> he's, he's... It's a big old... I think that might be a screen protector. Hopefully it is. Oh dear. We didn't even wash Rolo's legs. Oh, I did. Oh, you did, this morning? No, last, last night. night. Oh, did you? Yeah. Clean boy. You didn't need no bath. No, he's brown. He's, he's brown. He don't need any barfing. You can't see the poo stains. 
crazy man. Oh, what's going on here? Raise, Paze. Pudding in pie. Kiss the girls and made them cry. Ooh la la. He's. <laughs> Rollo slobber. Ow, he bit me! I mean, I was putting my finger in his mouth, but. Bootays! Hello there, love! Rollo. Rollo! It'll be fine, he just looks like he's been dragged out of bush. Thank you. So Popcorn got first place and I'm so proud of him. Um, that's really given us some courage for the season, I guess. Um, we're, we're gonna take Popcorn out to some like training stakes at the um, the showing shows, because um, we've got a spare space on the lorry. Why not just yeah, pop him in, yeah. yeah. Um, but I just did my 60 round with Rolo and it went it went really good. We got one pole down and we had no refusals, which was amazing. It was a bit more spooky. They had like um, corners, they had roll tops. They had, give me my whip. They had corners, they had roll tops. They had all sorts, really. Um, so it was quite a bit spookier. Um, but it was really good for Rolo. He had just a pole. Not too bad. He normally gets a pole or two down. It's just something we need to work on because what he does is he goes up to the fences and he gets so excited, so he charges at them. And then he knocks them because he's not careful enough, um, which is something we just need to work on um, with making him sit on his sit, sit back a little bit more coming up to the fences. Um, but we actually changed our classes. We're, doing, we're gonna do the 50 and the 60, which is what we were gonna do. But now we're doing the 60 and the 70 because the 50 just looked a bit small. So we're doing, I've just done the 60 and that was really good. And then we're gonna go in for the 70 in a minute, but I'm just gonna pop him over an upright or two, a 70 upright or two. So then we can, you know, get the, get the, 
get the idea that they've gone up a bit. But yeah, super exciting times. Um, the boys were amazing. I'm so proud of them. I'm just buzzing with Popcorn that he enjoyed it and that he had a good time and it was a positive round and that... Get me my coat. And then Rolo, it was a really, really good round. He was nice and speedy in it. And even the, um, the judge at the end, she was like, oh, lovely round, just four penalties there. Very speedy round. <laughs> so yeah, a bit fast, I think, but it's all right. I think that was the best course me and Rolo have done in terms of it flowing and not having like wobbly lines. Um, so yeah, I'm super, super pleased with that. And look at Popcorn's rosette! I'm really pleased with that, it's a nice rosette actually. Nice red one. Really? Another one please? I want a collection now. <laughs> no, I'm only joking, I don't care where we come. But we just had a good time. I'm just pop on again. Ugh, it's a bit far away. Good boy. <laughs> So we got a second in the 60, I was so pleased with that and then we just did our 70 and then that was really good. We had one refusal over the corner and we had a pole as well, either a one or two poles, which is not that bad, but um, strong. it was very strong, very strong. He's having a wee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's splashing. <laughs> he's, ah. he's standing so weird. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> Get away from that. That ah, ah. reeks, Rolo. Oh, what have you been eating, darling? <laughs> Drinking. I know. Rhubarb. What smells bad? Oh, Rose. But yeah, a very, very, very positive little outing today. I couldn't be happier with how that went. Um, it's all about just getting some mileage now. Um, and then as the time comes, we will get like more brave. So yeah, bit to work on, but yeah, nice fun, nice fun round. We're gonna go home now. So we are back guys. I'm running into a bit of a problem. I just wanted to turn Cloudy out and he didn't want to walk through the mud. So <laughs> that's a get some mud mats and he keeps on tanking off. A little bit naughty, but Grandad's just putting the mud mats down. <laughs> so he does this, he don't want to go through the mud. I feel a bit, I feel a bit bad because I don't want to go through the mud either, but 
the problem is, guys, they've just been... We've been so spoiled with the mud control slabs and there's no mud there. And then, where there's not mud control slabs, oh, there's mud. It's going to be fussy very steps. How did it go? Good? Yeah, it was really good. Popcorn came first. Did it? Yeah. And then, Cloud, not Cloudy, Rolo came second and fifth. Lovely. Which is really good. I'm pleased with that. Amazing. Don't tank. Up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. We can't turn round. I'm stuck. <laughs> I can't turn round. I'm gonna have to lock us in because he keeps on tanking up. Come on, clouds. VIP just for you. Come on. There we go. He <laughs> don't. Granddad, you got any more? <laughs> I'm stuck on the island! Come on then. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Rose, please, man. Chillax. Good boy. Oh, my, you're going to need to hold him. Good boy. We know, Rose, we know. You loony. Oh my god. You darling, you don't go out that way, you come out this way. I don't know why you're doing this. You're facing the wrong way now, babes. Not very smart. Oh my god. We're gonna chuck them all out because it's like one o'clock now, so there's no point keeping them in all day. And it's only, it was, the show wasn't that far away, so it's not like they're gonna be drained from all the driving. So we're gonna let Popcorn have a choice of where he's going because he's got the wettest field, so. He is wearing pandas rug, guys, don't judge. <laughs> They've got the same rug, it's quite hard to tell. So yeah, we can go in this field and then in that field. And then I need to muck out all the stables. And yeah, I also need to, at some point, we need to split that field in half. They're all gonna have the afternoon chilling. Don't know why this is open. We're all gonna have the afternoon to chillax. Yeah. Right, let's go get mucking out. So the barn is an absolute state at the moment. I've never seen it this messy. Um, so I'm gonna muck out all their stables, do all their waters, do all their hay nets, um, make, and then, no, and then I'm gonna tidy it all up. And then I'm gonna, make their breakfast their dinners and their breakfasts for tomorrow um but this is the current state of all the stables um this is the messiest actually um not not that bad i might put another bale in actually i'm gonna get mucking out i'm gonna do all the essentials and then i think i'm gonna do a bit of a time lapse tidy up so yeah this is the before guys absolute state
Right guys, so I've had a bit of an organise and I've basically given the whole yard a bit of a Hello Spa. Um, it looks a little bit messy, um, but don't judge. Yes, the, the floor is a mess. I did try to scrape it up, but that... <laughs> the wall just... Oh my God. So I put all the rugs up here. So we've got pop-ons, like a bedtime rug. We've got this rug, we've got this rug, and we've got this rug. And um, there's more head collars here. Um, they've all got their rugs over their stable doors ready for bed. Popcorn didn't want his on. I've just got Popcorn in and Rolo, but Grandad's going to get Cloudy in now. Um, I did put a new bale of shavings into Popcorn's beds. Um, so it's nice and fluffy now, and I took out all of the wet from Popcorn's bed. I think he's very tired now, and I think he's a little bit hangry too. Yeah, definitely. He um, wants his dinner. 100%. Um, but... Did you make the dinners? Yep. They're all ready. They've all got hair, they've all got fresh water. Um, and they're all angry. <laughs> but it's been a very positive day. I've had first, a second and a fifth. Um, I've got and lots Panda. done. And Panda also had a third in the 90 with Katie, which I'm so pleased. It's been very positive. Panda was at a completely different show, guys, about three out three four hours in one of those directions um but, he but did yeah he did amazing and i watched the round back and he was so good he's really really improving which is good to see um but yeah lots got done today very productive day actually um i was able to do a lot done and it's still light it might not look like it's light um but it is still like daylight <laughs> He's a tired boy. I think that's a sign of a good day. Oh, he's yawning again. <laughs> oh, it's tired. You're making me yawn. <laughs> Is all that jumping made you tired, my baby boy? Right, guys, I'm going to get all of these boys' rugs changed now, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.